In the previous video, we translated the PCB from Zucan CR8000 Design Force to ANSYS SI Wave using ANF and component files as the go between formats. In this video, we'll compare the layer stack up information between the two products. We'll also show how to transfer mechanical data for the printed circuit board from Zucan to SI Wave using intermediate data files. From the Home tab, open the Layer Stack Up Editor. Compare the stackups between both ANSYS and Zucan. Remember, Zucan did not generate the layers Resist A and Resist B during the ANF export, so these layers are not present in SI Wave. All the other 15 electrical layers are present. As expected, there are 8 conductors and 7 dielectric layers. Layer thicknesses across both Zucan and ANSYS are exactly the same. For instance, conductors 4 and 5 are 18 microns thick. All the other conductors are 20 microns thick. Also, all the dielectric layers are 0.2 millimeters thick, as expected. The material properties translate to copper for all the conductors in SI Wave. The top three dielectric layers are ABF, the next two are FR4, and the last two dielectric layers are ABF. So clearly the material properties in SI Wave are exactly as they were defined in Zucan. Notice the values of the dielectric constants are the same for all the layers, except for the top and bottom layers in SI Wave. The dielectric constants for these layers do not match due to the different dielectric fill materials. In SI Wave, the top and bottom layers have air as their dielectric fill material, and so their dielectric constant is 1. But in Zucan, the dielectric constant is 4.5 for these outer metal layers. The dielectric fill material comes from a conductor's outwardly neighboring dielectric layer. Since the resist layers were not translated, SI Wave applies air as the dielectric fill material. Know that you can easily adjust any of these properties in the layer stackup editor in SI Wave before running a simulation. If you want to force Zucan to output these resist layers, use a text editor to create a parameter file containing the setting resist output on. Give the file the extension .ldf. Point to this parameter file during the ANF export. Press the execute button to translate the PCB to an ANF file. Zucan now generates these informational messages. You can see that layers resist A and resist B were generated. Zucan also creates two more dielectric layers between the corresponding resist and conductor layers. After you import this ANF file to SI Wave, you'll see that all the layers, including resist A, resist B, and the temporary dielectric layers are present. All the properties are accurately translated to SI Wave. You can see conductors 1 and 2 have the same dielectric constants across both products. Again, the topmost and bottommost layers use air as the dielectric fill material. You can also enter other settings in your parameter file. For a description of these settings, see the ANF resource file, bdfanf.rsc, that comes with the installation of Zucan CR8000. Zucan also provides a sample parameter file, ansys underscore anf.ldf, at this location. SI Wave can import Zucan's intermediate data format, known as IDF, for exchanging mechanical data between ECAD and MCAD tools. You need the intermediate data format to perform electrothermal and mechanical simulations of ECAD designs. IDF is made up of three files, a board file with the extension BDF, a library file with the extension LDF, and an optional panel file. SI Wave doesn't support the optional panel file. To generate the intermediate data format from Zucan, go to Utility, Export, and then to IDF. ANSYS supports version 3 of the IDF data. Specify the location for the output files. You'll see that different file types are available. For ANSYS tools, you want to select BDF. Don't use the other options. Press Save. Notice that in addition to the BDF file, this operation also automatically generates the LDF library file. To see the contents of a BDF file, open it in a text editor. The BDF file contains information about component placement, the board shape, drill holes for vias, and mounting hardware. Similarly, open the LDF file. The LDF library file has info about the ECAD and MCAD components on a PCB. For instance, this highlighted ECAD component describes a BGA dual-core processor IC. The description includes coordinate points for the boundary outline and elevation for this ECAD component. In this case, the height of the bounding box is 2.6 millimeters. Its width and length are 25 millimeters each. This LDF file contains data for the ECAD components only. 
Some LDF files also contain definitions of mechanical components, such as heat sinks. Now we'll import this LDF file to SIWAVE. Under the Import tab in SIWAVE, go to the Intermediate Data Format option. The file filter defaults to Intermediate Data Format Files with the extension LDF. Select the LDF file type. When SIWAVE imports the LDF library data file, it also automatically reads in the BDF file. You can see now that SIWAVE displays 3D representations of the electrical components mounted on the board. In this board, they are ECAD component blocks. Expand ECAD in this tree and select the IC. This is the same BGA dual-core processor IC I was describing in the library data file. From the properties, you can see the dimensions are exactly as specified in the LDF library file. Open the drop-down menu for Add Heatsink. Choose Create New Model to create a heatsink for this component. In the Components window, expand MCAD and select IC1. Ensure the Mounted option is set to True. You can choose the thin flow direction as you wish. You can also modify the thin thickness and the spacing. In this manner, you can assign heat sinks for the appropriate components of a printed circuit board. Some of these heat sink assignment steps wouldn't be necessary if your LDF file already contained mechanical heat sink definitions. After you set up the board, you can perform electrical and thermal analyses. The temperature profile from the thermal analysis can be mapped onto the board to perform a structural analysis in ANSYS Mechanical. This concludes this demo. The next part covers the EDB flow to go from Zukin to ANSYS.